Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video is all about uh, Amazon troubleshooting. So what do you do when your product is not selling as well as it should be, all right? And there's a couple of reasons for that. Let me write this down, all right? So the first one is you need to identify the reason why, all right? So number one is traffic, all right? So there's two issues with potentially your product, all right? So traffic and conversion. These are two things that you need to understand, all right? And Traffic means you're getting a lot of traffic to your listings, or sorry, traffic means if, if, you, if you're not getting anyone or enough eyeballs looking at your, your listing, you have a traffic problem, all right? You might be going, well, you might be pulling your hair out and going, you know, why is my product selling? It's because not enough people know about your product. Have you ever heard the expression, you can't sell a secret, all right? So the best way to identify which problem you have, and it really does boil down to this, right? traffic and conversions. But the best way to find out is look at the stats, all right? Look at the reports. You go to business reporting, you scroll down, you click uh, business reporting, right? Detailed reports, you can see the sales and you can see the, the listing of views, right? You, and you have, it will tell you day by day how many people have viewed your listing, all right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Like, it's like when a restaurant opens up, they've got a clicker, you know, they click how many people, they count how many people visit the, uh, their shop, right? So find out first how many people are visiting your shop, all right? So how many people are visiting? Now, if you've got 100 people visiting a day and you've got no sales, you don't have a traffic problem. You've got traffic sorted out, right? It's a conversion problem. But if you have only got, if you've only got zero people visiting, then you've got a traffic problem. You need to start doing something. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you how in a short, uh, shortly, right? Then conversions. Let's say, for example, you're getting 100 people visiting your listing, right? And you're only getting like three or four sales, then it still shows you that your, your conversion rate is like three or 4%. It means you, you need to do something with the conversions, right? So you need to improve that. So it could be, it could be your, your image, it could be your, 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 you know, your bullet points, right? Uh, bullets, all right? It could be the description, it could be the keywords, the keywords, right? I'll put that there. Price. Yeah, it could be the price, right? There's a lot of different reasons, right? So what you can do is you can experiment by lowering the price as well. But there's, uh, yeah, there's a reason why. So first of all, find out, it all boils down to finding out exactly why you are not getting, uh, you know, why you're not getting sales, right? Find out, are you getting traffic? And if you are, what are your, what's your conversion rate? But if you're, if you're not getting enough conversions, it basically means that you're getting traffic but not enough conversions, it means there's something here that you can improve. And there's a few other reasons why, right? First of all, seasonality. So if you're trying to sell beach balls during winter, right, you may have a problem, okay? So seasonality could be an issue when you first launch your product and maybe the, the seasons have changed, maybe it's summer now or winter now, and your product is no longer relevant, okay? There's a way around that and it means pivoting. So if you're selling a beach tote bag, okay, which is a big bag, you store your sunglasses and sunscreen and stuff, and winter comes around, you can go in and change your listing to be a shopping tote bag, right? That means pivoting. It means just changing the headline and basically marketing it to a different audience, right? If you're selling uh, beach balls, you know, call it exercise balls. I don't know whether you can get away with that, but it's worth a try, right? But there's ways you can pivot, okay? Um, no demand due to market changes. This is another one, right? COVID hit recently. We had clients in the travel niche, right? So they, they launched their products in travel niche, they started seeing some sales, and then boom, the airline shut down, right? You know what happened? Sales went down massively, right? Because they're in, uh, something happened in the world uh, that was big, and COVID obviously did change the world, but uh, yeah, your product will be affected. So ask yourself, potentially, you know, is your product affected by that, right? So it's right here, seasonality. Okay, and then market changes. Okay, uh, then another one. No demand due. Oh, sorry, too much competition and not enough demand. So there are products out there where there's just too many people jumping on them. An example would be yoga mats, right? Everyone and his dog and Barry down the road is trying to sell yoga mats on Amazon. Don't sell yoga mats. It's done and dusted. All right. So just move on. Okay. Uh, lastly, wrong pricing. All right, so experiment with the price. All right, so if it's selling right now for thirty nine ninety five, figure out what is your what is your break even point. All right, when when you work out your cost, okay, and you work out the price right, 
Where, where is the break even point? If you bought, if you bought it for, for four bucks and you, you brought it into to Australia or the US and you're, you're paying you know, shipping fees and all that other stuff, your break even point might be seven, eight bucks, all right? So it basically means you can go to, you can bring that $39.95 all the way down to seven bucks and that is your break even point. That's when you don't either lose money or make money, all right? So it's important that you know what your break even point is, but experiment with the price. If you're not getting sales, lower the price because what you wanna do initially anyway is you wanna lower the price to start getting in those reviews. You wanna increase your sales velocity. You wanna start getting those reviews coming in because that's also going to help as well. All right, um, now, what can you do? So if you've identified, all right, I've got a traffic problem or conversion problem, you just need now figure out what, what can I do to improve this sort of stuff? How do I, if you have a traffic problem, there's a few things you can do, okay? So number one, you can start reaching out to Insta, okay? So Instagram, people talking, if you have a pet product or baby product or parenting product, right? So you can find anyone pretty much on Instagram that talks about something, any of your products, I guarantee it, right? So any products out there online on Amazon, there's someone on Instagram talking about it. So contact those people and find out, can they promote the product if you give them a free product, all right? Can they talk about it, review it, unbox it, do something? Uh, second, uh, YouTubers, lots of YouTubers out there, exactly the same thing. They're always making videos on these particular products. They would love to get a free copy, a free sample of your product, and in exchange, they may even talk about your product, right? Which is kind of what you want, okay? Uh, Facebook, other things, you've got Facebook ads, right? Um, you've got YouTube ads as well, which is something we actually show you how to do the YouTube ads in our course, right? Very, very effective. You've got eBay, eBay is another thing, right? So listing to start driving sales and be what we call multi-platform. And that's kind of what you want to do anyway. You don't want to just sell on Amazon. There's, there's heaps of platforms out there to leverage your brand, all right? But eBay, you can also do eBay ads or sponsored ads as well, right? So eBay and eBay ads. I remember one product I was selling, I was actually getting like lots of, obviously lots of sales on Amazon, but eBay was just as good, right? With that particular, it's not always, but with that particular product I was selling, it was doing all right. So you can put your product on eBay. Now you're not storing the stuff in your garage. You're still gonna get Amazon to fulfill that to your eBay customer. In our members area, we actually have a training video showing you how to do it. It's called creating a fulfillment order. And lastly, there's other things you can do. I wouldn't suggest this immediately, but later on, you can actually build a website or Shopify as well, all right? We actually have a Shopify training in our members area as well, all right? It's in the bonuses section. But website, Shopify, that's kind of, again, the long-term game plan, which is branding. You know, you wanna have a brand. A brand is an asset, and it's something that you could potentially sell down the line. So when, you know, 24 months, 36 months down the line and you want to sell your brand, you will have a website for it, you'll be on eBay, you'll have a YouTube channel for it, you've got Instagram is talking about it, YouTube's talk, YouTube you're talking about it, right? Um, and it's on Amazon, it could be on Amazon different platforms, have you thought about that, right? If your product is not selling well on Australian platform, it can actually sell quite well on the USA platform. Case in point, we actually have a client She's making way more sales on the Australian platform for a particular product. In America, it's still good, but it's just, in Australia, it's very, very popular. And also because it's less, you know, less competition as well. All right, so hopefully that sort of... What about pay-per-click? What about pay-per-click? Oh, thanks, Jeff. Pay -click. Oh, pay-per-click, yes, good, good thing, all right? So pay-per-click on Amazon, so as well. So you can actually, if you haven't already, pay-per-click on Amazon, and we do have a training in our members area talking about this, but you can actually um, have a credit promotion on, on your Amazon store for your, your, for your product range as well, all right? So have a look at your paper click. We do have a, a members, uh, a training video in the members area showing you how to do that. So I hope that clear things up, guys. And uh, yeah, first up, figure out whether you have a traffic problem or conversion problem, and then basically review all of this. Have a fantastic day, talk to you all soon. Bye for now. Are you based in Australia or New Zealand and you want to get something started on Amazon? I want to talk to you about selling on Amazon. I want to talk to you about how to get started. You know, what's your first two or three products going to be? The number one reason people say they want to start on Amazon is because of freedom. Freedom to work for themselves, freedom from their boss. They want to spend more time with their family. They want to spend more time with their kids. They want to finally live a life on their own terms. 
I really want to mentor you. I want to help you find the products, buy the products, fund the products, how much to pay for your products, how to start your own brand and sell your own brand on Amazon, how to find supplies, how to get the best deals, how to launch and sell your products on Amazon and how to scale. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, should get started today and find out more and how we can work together. I did it to try and find more time, build a business that I can sort of work on and expand and make decent income from. We have gone ahead in leaps and bounds. We love it. I'm enjoying the course thoroughly. It explains things very well. This course to me is much better than a lot of the other courses that people are offering because of the personal touch. Go with someone that's in Australia. A bit more in common too with things that we can sell and buy. What I've loved about the training is the personalized service. It's been the access to experts that are on hand to answer your questions and they do it really well. I decided that a nine to five traditional way of earning money was no longer an option for me. I choose Alex and his team because they have good system in place in teaching us beginners. I can do it in my own time. And if I have any trouble, I know I can message them. I've really enjoyed the support around me. It's been really enjoyable having them there and knowing at a click of a button, just ask them, ask them a question. This kind of business is, uh, you have to learn a lot. You need this type of team to do it. I never done in the online business before and you have the guideline and to do anything from beginning. It's set out logically. It's easy to follow. It's simple. Full of knowledge, down to earth, what they have. The knowledge is just invaluable. Very easy to understand and the support that you get after email questions or send text messages and things. And usually you get a reply within about a day or so. I will happily recommend this program to anybody who has no previous experience or knowledge in the online business. Yes, I'd be happy to recommend to any of my friends, colleagues or anyone that should ask. The software programs that they use with finding products, how to use and focus on keywords. The training part is uh, very comprehensive, very, you know, nicely laid out, step-by-step program. To, you know, it's easy to find things that you're looking for. I'm new at any business, uh, this is my first time starting any business at all and I just feel comfortable, I feel confident and to know that there's support. Through your training, you, you've given me the confidence to actually go out there, get my own supplier, buy my own products to go and sell on Amazon. You, Of course, I would definitely recommend your training, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, I'll be recommending this to all my friends and family. Yep, I'd be an advocate for it. The 10 basic steps makes it so easy and really simple and clear. For sure, this is the best move that I had. I couldn't have done it without them pretty much. It's been really good. Highly recommend them. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Very informative. It's not possible to make a success in a short time without someone to support and mentor you. Definitely do it. It's so another income stream. Yeah, that they should definitely join the program because, you know, sometimes you find a lot of information on the internet and then you don't know where to start. Alex and the whole team are just really genuine. I oh, highly recommend it. I'm a very hands-on person so I like to see things before I do them. If I had a problem I either rang him, sent him a message, he'd call me straight back or answer my call and he was always there to help which has been pretty awesome. It's really good, gives you a really good insight and just having the knowledge that you've got a team behind you that you can speak to and grab advice from just to go for it. I really highly recommend it. These people are genuine people. Absolutely. Uh, I've done a lot of different seminars over the years. Alex conferences are number one. Do it in a heartbeat. I wouldn't second guess it. Do it. You get so much out of it. And knowing that you have such a great supporting team behind you. I'd say it's probably one of the best courses that I've actually done other courses. Um, and for a starting person, this is the ideal way to start. This has been really good, this training, all the way around, at home and here over the last two days. There's lots of things to learn um, and um, yeah, you'll have a really good time trying to find and reach your goals. I work shift work and I send him text messages at random hours and he always seems to get back to me or emails, get back to me fast. They know their stuff, I've just got to trust them. Very uh, down to earth, very approachable and extremely helpful. I can honestly highly recommend that if you want a successful business in Amazon, join Alex and his team. You won't be sorry. And that you've got someone to talk to, if you've got a question, there's an actual person that you can talk to and they're really, really helpful.